Hi, my name is Daniel, and in this video I'll be introducing you to the Zen Server 6 user management feature. Zen Server's user management system allows you to control and manage Zen Server users and includes two complementary components authentication and authorization. Users accessing Zen Server are required to authenticate by supplying a set of credentials, according to which they are awarded predefined role specific permissions. Administrators can thus be assured that their production environment is properly controlled and accessed as their developers gain just enough visibility into the production environment to troubleshoot issues without risking the security of their production systems. By default, Zen Server uses an authentication system called Simple Authentication that includes different levels of production access based on two user roles. The administrator user role has full access to all Zen Server components and features, while the developer user role has a much more limited access level. For example, an administrator can add and remove web API keys for both user roles, while the developer only has access to his own key. The simple authentication method is based on a set of credentials, a username and a password, that are defined during the launching process of Zen Server and that need to be entered on the login page to access the user interface. User passwords can be changed at a later stage from the Users page, under the Administration tab. To do this, just click Change Password for the user you wish to change the password for, and enter the new password. Please note that the administrator can change both passwords, while the developer can only change his own password. The Users page can also be used to move from simple authentication to extended authentication. This method of authentication allows you to integrate with an existing LDAP user management system and assign different roles to users with potentially different permissions for each application, letting operations regain full control of the system and its settings. To begin this process, click the Settings button in the top right corner of the page to display the Change Authentication Settings wizard. Firstly, we're going to enter our LDAP connection parameters. In the LDAP host field, we're going to enter the host or location of the LDAP server. In the base DN field, we'll enter the base domains for user authentication. We can also select to use SSL or TLS encryption for our connection, but in this case I'm just going to select not to use any encryption. In the next step of the wizard, we're going to configure the canonical form, which is basically the template the LDAP server is expecting in the username. If you're using an open LDAP server, you can skip to the next dialog in the wizard. Firstly, we're going to select the type of canonical form from the drop-down menu and based on this selection, enter either domain name for the principal form or a short domain name for the backslash form. In the next step, we're going to enter information on the LDAP server we are about to connect to. First, we select the type of server used, Active Directory or LDAP. In the Groups Attribute field, we can enter an attribute of the user, notating group membership. And in the last field, we can enter an Active Directory group name to be assigned to administrators. Next, we're going to enter LDAP query credentials used for the initial connection and retrieving permission groups. First, the DN username, and then the directory password. On the final dialog, all we have to do is enter our current Zen Server admin password and click Submit to confirm our LDAP settings. Once submitted, we are immediately logged out of the Zen Server 6 user interface and required to log in again. As you can see, using our simple authentication credentials no longer works. So to log into Zen Server, we will enter an LDAP username and password. Back on the Users page, which now looks a bit different since we're using a different authentication method, we can now assign LDAP user groups to a specific Zen Server user role or to a specific application. This feature is especially useful for administrators with more than one remotely defined LDAP user group to whom we would like to assign different Zen Server user permissions. In the Roles to Groups area, I'm going to give developer user permissions to all users belonging to the dev group. Next, in the Applications to Groups mapping area, I'm going to give a group named Group1 access to all the information associated with the Drupal application, such as events and code tracing info. Please note that a group mapped to a managed application will be given the Zen Server Developer Limited user role, with read-only user permissions. 
To switch back to simple authentication, just click the settings button again, select simple authentication, and then enter your LDAP admin password to confirm. That's it for now. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any ideas for improving Zen Server 6 that you'd like to share with the Zen Server team, please don't hesitate to contact Zen. For more detailed information on working with user management and the audit trail, and any additional features in Zen Server 6, please refer to the online documentation at www.zen.com.